do you know what numerology is do you see the number the number now an adjective has to come over and over is the clue great number is a trap same number the concept of numerology is that the dash after the noun has to come the universe the numbers is is there numbers are so universe is the second one the universe is a structure that can be broken down into basic components which are numerology is there this has to be after r plural which are people which are pens which are cars this has to be numbers mastering the skill is no easy task that's a collocation and after has verb in the third form has to come it is inherited so do you want to solve like a pro do you want to solve the reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes watch this video till the end i'm gonna inculcate all the tips and tricks every grammar approach each and everything in this video so that you can solve any reading fill in the blanks mostly in less than two minutes towards the end of the video hey everybody Nathan here from skills pt academic i really hope everybody is doing fantastic uh, well today we will talk about reading fill in the blanks i am not able to solve reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes well if you belong to this category the very first thing you should know is this this is very very important let me just read it for you hope is being able to see that there is a light or there is light despite all of darkness so this very thought should make you vibrant should give you that positive energy within you and with that energy and the right approach trust me things are possible so let me just show you what i've got for you today i'm not able to solve reading fill in the blanks in two minutes what could be the reasons let's list out the reasons and then let's understand the fix for the same watch the video till the end i promise i'll not disappoint you you will have a lot of knowledge and the guidance and the right path for you to solve any reading fill in the blanks mostly in less than two minutes so the reason number one the reason number one being you have less knowledge on the grammar based approach grammar is a little tricky one once you learn the grammar implementation will take a lot of time correct you probably have less time on the grammar approach which is why you are taking extra time perhaps four minutes five minutes or maybe more than that in your reading fill in the blanks if you have to get full marks if you want to get one out of five then within two minutes you will be able to solve but now if i take more time i will be able to solve it perfectly but more time in the exam no time isn't it so uh, the reason number two your approach of solving a question needs an upgrade i'm not saying your approach is wrong but i'm saying it just needs an upgrade what exactly i meant by this we will discuss each and everything in just a while collocation knowledge needs an upgrade you have a list of collocations which you're used to memorizing it and learning and doing things it needs an upgrade today i'm gonna show you the right approach to learn the collocations your reading speed is slow i read slow i'm comfortable i understand if i increase the speed little bit then the real problem starts so we will see how to address this or the last problem could be your reading comprehension problem means you read or you read fast but unable to understand i may have to read multiple times to actually understand what exactly is given in the paragraph only these five problems trust me if all these five problems are solved you will be able to solve any reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes so let's see uh, what exactly i am going to discuss today your reading speed is very slow and uh, reading comprehension problem let's talk about these two uh, how exactly to fix it see fixing will take time patience is the key man please correct right um, patience in, patience is something that is not granted people take it for granted this is most important thing um the idea is your reading speed is slow because you yourself have kept your nervous system that way your visualization skills are very poor when you read slow this will understand by forming a picture when you read fast this is getting confused and then get used to it no fast reading novels i'm not just talking about reading a novel or reading a book or reading a newspaper i'm talking about reading it faster read twice the speed you're comfortable at first day your mind will complain second day your mind will say don't follow nakul third day it will ask you to block this channel but if you surpass these three days fourth day trust me on this you will be able to read fast for that you just need patience reading comprehension problem you read you are not understanding because you are not used to reading then start reading but a bit faster visualization getting a picture 
see whatever you read if you have to understand you need to get a picture that picture will happen it will happen you just need to tell your brain in a right way there is an app called um, speed reading app you can download that that speed reader app there are many variations of it speed reader app i'm telling you you can download that from your play store for your iphone or android start with it explore new things that will definitely aid you improve your reading comprehension and fast reading skills and 30 minutes a day you have to read and not just read read a bit faster and how exactly i should read do you have any demo um if this is the paragraph how i would do it not doing something will always be faster than doing it no not doing something will also faster than doing it this one reminds me of the old computer saying remember that there's no code faster than no code the same philosophy applies in others of life for example there is no meeting that goes faster than not having a meeting at all see when i read i am giving some breaks and that's where i am dividing them into phrases i'm actually understanding it i'm not simply reading it for the sake of it this is not to say see i'm giving a break because i'm understanding what it is you should never attend another meeting but the truth is that we say yes to many things we don't actually want to do the many meetings are held that don't need to be held there's a lot of code written that could be deleted so this speed is enough for you to read but if you are not at this level then it's better if you upgrade it speed reading app and there are many things in the youtube how to read fast you type please type i'm telling you how to read fast millions of things will pop up you just need to have the patience and the time to go through them explore things things will easily fall in place so let me just continue with uh, what i've got for you um so the same thing we'll start with uh, the very first reason why am i not able to solve the reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes the reason number one being you have very less knowledge on the grammar approach so nakul are we understanding a lot of grammar approaches today definitely yes if you are our registered student we have an online paid course where we have approximately 30 hour of grammar sessions followed by 10,000 reading fill in the blanks for the implementation so anytime you decide to join an online course we gonna guide you in a right way it's an online paid course but here as well i'm gonna leave some trailer um of what i've got so let's start with this uh, less knowledge in the grammar approach the grammar rules let's talk about this so after this model verbs model verbs are can could will would shall should ought may might they're all model verbs plus the word to after this there is a blank most of the times it will be a verb one verb one means present tense for example to eat to preserve, to persevere, to dedicate, to learn, to song, to sing, to kill, to write. You don't say to eat. Pay more attention after to. You don't say to eat. Past tense, to sang. You don't say the past tense. Keep this in mind. Write it down somewhere. All these things will definitely be helpful. Towards the end of the video, we have five questions. 25 blanks. We will implement and see if we can do it in less than two minutes. So the rule number two, after a noun verb will come. Because noun is like a monkey. Noun always does some action. And that action is represented by a term called verb. And if the sentence is in the present tense, if the noun is a singular form, then verb will get S. Pay more attention. This is called subject verb agreement. If a noun is the singular noun and there is a verb which is in the present tense, then the verb will get S. David ate the pizza. See, past tense, no change. You don't say ate, but the present tense, David eats david is singular present tense eat will become s david eat is wrong so now after a singular noun in the present tense if there is a blank your eyes should go into the option which has a verb with s he learns he cooks this cat runs this cat run is wrong Hope you are getting it. This cat ran is correct, but run is wrong. So after a noun, you have a verb. And if that verb in the present tense and noun is singular form, you have to go into the option which has S in it with respect to the verb. Rule number two, this is called subject verb agreement. Rule number three, if the blank is describing a noun, he is short. He is so tall. He is dark. He is fair. He is red. He is handsome. She is beautiful. When it is describing the person or describing the noun, it's called an adjective. David is good. The project is unified or the unified project. The dancer took a stage which is 
central to it or the dancer took a central stage so now a stage is a noun central is an adjective so when you know oh this blank is an adjective then go into the option to see the adjectives boss don't see all the things so let's quickly move on you may get confused so the reason i'm telling you is this write it down so that you can refer them while you solve the questions if the blank describes an adjective or an adverb then it becomes sorry on that if the blank describes an adjective or a verb the previous one the blank describes a noun now blank describes an adjective or a verb it's called adverb adverb usually ends in ly this is the most important tip whenever you find ly that's an adverb and whenever there is a blank where adverb is required you just put a word ending with ly fraction of a second you can do this the project has been tested tested as a verb he has eaten the food eaten is a verb when it is explaining describing a verb or an adjective the next blank will be an adverb eaten the food quickly he has eaten quickly the food eaten quickly tested thoroughly see there ly ly adverbs make use of this knowledge and the rule number five after this has had have in some cases is was were v3 will come what is v3 eat it eat, eaten present past past participle sing sang sung test tested tested this country has after has ed after has anything can come he has a car he has cars but most of the times verb in the third form he has developed the vaccine these animals have destroyed so now if you have a blank after has have had the blank go to the option which has verb 3 you can do it quicker isn't it the shortcuts will help you Or grammar rules. Rule number six. After B E, usually verb three will come. Verb three again. We know eaten. This country needs to be developed. These animals need not be slaughtered. Need not be eaten. Need not be killed. We need verb three. So having this knowledge will definitely help you ADR preparation. Help you to do a bit faster. We'll again talk about more things. So we are left with these two, and then I'm going to start with. the blanks and give you the time to solve it in less than 2 minutes by applying the approach the two most things the two remaining reasons why people cannot solve in 2 minutes or less than 2 minutes is this your approach needs an upgrade your approach is completely wrong why because there is a better approach left your approach make sure that you make one or two mistakes but when there is an upgraded approach make sure you get full marks see idea is very simple um, i know i'm just dragging it because this concept is very very important when i talk about approach what exactly i mean let's say there is a flat ground and today i come there with an axe and just blow the land and make a big hole a pit so now there is a land empty land or a barren land it has a big hole now you are coming you are coming like this when you come like this there is a hole you will fall into the hole what is your job come like this watch check that out there is a wall you have to jump that jumping will not happen you will fall for the trap the trap is the hole set by the examiner paper setter make sure you don't fall that's the approach if you don't have to fall you have to use your eyes and look oh there is a hole i make sure i'll not fall i'll jump that is the approach i'm talking about we will talk more about this approach as well collocation 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 is like huge it's vast it's ocean we cannot learn with 250 collocation list and all no it's implementation the more you acquire the more you implement we will see more about it um the idea is very simple when i talk about the approach the clues you need to find there is a hole don't put your leg inside it boss see through your eyes and see oh there is a hole let me jump that's an approach do you know what numerology is so here we will see that approach do you see the dash number over and over over and over means same number you are seeing this is the clue if you don't see this clue what will you say you will write great number wrong trap you are falling for the trap you are going into the hole the concept of numerology numerology is that the universe is a structure numerology means numbers that can be broken into 
basic components which are numbers the numerology is a clue for the third blank the answer being numbers the mastering its skill mastering it is difficult mastering the skill is a clue for this people end up writing great task don't simply write get the approach and has inherited knowledge inheriting the knowledge is a collocation so we will see more of the approaches as well with lot of questions and few of the collocation lets it is subjected to subjected to addicted to devoted to and then keep a secret associated with this has been associated with this this has been linked to this your account is linked to the word linked goes with the preposition to and then we have keep calm keep controlled in order to in order to is a famous collocation lose control strong belief take a risk expose to again the word expose goes with the word preposition to transforms from this form to another form transforms from to changes from to getting it guys these are the set of collocations could be more than this but yes so we have a lot of things in place now first thing is grammar knowledge second thing is approach i'll explain you more and then some collocation so we will merge all of them and try to see if we can if you can solve the reading from the blanks in less than 2 minutes all right so i'm going to give the question now pause the video otherwise the length of the video becomes too hard pause the video put a timer of 2 minutes try to solve it and then watch my explanation and see how it can be solved and where exactly you went wrong that is more important all right the very first thing all animals all animals is a noun after a noun a verb will come the verb dash their skin it's a present tense when it's a fact it's a present tense so now all animals dash their skin animals is a plural see here they eat he eats that's what i told in the grammar part 1 in in the beginning when i talked about he eats david sings yes has to come here yes cannot come all animals dash their skin we need a verb without us grow shed that's it grow their skin but what is the approach yes nakul i'm putting my head and walking and fell down no what is the approach some just do it in a more grandiose style while humans shed the answer is shed which talking about leaving the skin out so grow is a trap one is shed shed a layer of skin they shed a layer of skin in one dash piece in one piece is a noun we need an adjective in one great piece in one discarded piece in one continuous piece that's it only two adjectives continue is a verb only two adjective which one is correct we will understand i'll leave it empty this is shed is the first one which dash a process which a process ye process see david sings he eats process i need something with this hope you are getting it hope you are getting it we need a verb grow is discarded takes occurs dies continues all four can fit in but a process which continues between occurs between so this is a context so this cannot be occurs hope you are getting it it's actually simple why there are two reasons why the process occurs the event happens the event occurs the meeting occurs the meeting happens the process occurs that's how it goes while the snake's body body is a noun after a noun verb will come here verb will end in s dash to grow continues to grow yes is there and the old layer is a roomier skin layer a new layer is generated old layer is discarded after he is we saw in the beginning remember verb in the third form only one verb in the third form this would be five simple one we will see the second one all animals shed their skin occurs continuous discarded what is the second one now in one discarded piece discarded goes to fifth continuous piece getting this five to five is easy but are you able to get this five to five in less than 2 minutes that matters for that unit approach in our course we have the explanation for more than 10000 blanks more than 300 mocks something of this sort so any time you need assistance um you can uh, check out the whatsapp number given in the video we will be able to help you with a paid online course hope you learned a lot of things here so we will go to the next question and see if you can implement the same strategy So pause the video pause the video 
try to do it in less than two minutes and then see where you went wrong which trap you actually fell into coal is formed see again there the after is ed when dead plant matter dash dead plant matter is a noun after a noun verb will come dead plant matter dash in swamp environments dead plant matter categorized in swamp environments transforms in trans uh, swamp environments dead plant matter man right? approach where is the clue what is the don't put your head up and walk see if there is a hole dead plant matter in the environment it is going inside adopted submerged if you are not getting it leave it empty coal is formed when dead plant matter dash in swamp and swamp environments after this verb in the third form to is there dedicated to devoted to addicted to subjected to subjected to simple all right, over the time plant matter dash from moist low carbon peat plant matter i told you again dash from this to this changes from this to this or plant matter is a noun after a noun verb has to come singular noun a verb with yes has to come we have transforms no other verb transforms from moist low carbon peat the clue to clue is to coal itself has after a noun has to come singular noun produces a verb categorized as a verb adopted as a verb submerged as a verb variation is the only noun a variation this would be four after b verb in the third form we have categorized into collocation a very simple question man or you doing it the same way give it a thought um first one is subjected to sorry second one is subjected to first one we will come back energy matter transforms has a wide variation can be categorized so now we are left with the first one plant dead plant matter adopted in swamp environment submerged in submerged get the context they are inside the swamp environment submerged is inside that simple questions it's not just the grammar it's not just the approach it is the combination of the two always remember when something that tells you oh this is the answer your heart is saying that don't listen to it listen to this find the clues don't put your head up neck up and walk see down see the clues meanwhile we will go to the next question all right so pause the video try doing it in 2 minutes only because it is possible and then resume the video to understand the explanation and the approach a bicycle is a machine for dash from for transportation from place to place for getting from place to place both will fit in bicycle for getting from for transportation we will see in a after a noun singular noun up hands cannot come stairs is a verb goes is a verb feet foot is singular this is a noun plural noun box a frame two wheel set in one frame not box you are not putting the cycle wheel in a box in a frame this is a wrong one and millions of people throughout the world ride bicycles for fun for exercise for sport and for transportation third one is transportation first first one is getting to ride a bicycle the rider sits on the seat and places the dash after the noun has to come what will you place on the pedal pedal is the clue watch watch don't say places the hands on the pedal places the hands on the handle pedal you put your like feet this would be four and the last one the this moves the bicycle forward the rider dash by rider is a noun david sings rider sings verb with s which is goes by turning steers steering right car steering is maneuvering you control the direction steers by turning the handlebar so this is five simple one simple one could have been solved in less than 30 seconds know that which approach you are following lot of people practice with an online uh, portal and all website definitely as there are a lot of people i respect them a lot given a lot of questions Uh, for you to practice you practice but approach you don't get get the right approach and then practice then the progression can be seen we go to the next question pause the video 2 minute timer and then try to understand if you went wrong in the approach whenever you put ice cubes into a glass of water what will happen do you after do it's always verb in the base form do you eat do you write do you sing do you wonder 
Hey, that's all man, no other verb. So do you wonder what makes them float? Dash of sinking, dash of collocation instead of. Simple. Well, this cannot be applied to every question, but whichever the question possible you apply, solve it in less than one minute. Difficult questions you take time. That is the thing. This doesn't just occur with small ice cubes. The collocation, see, the clues. This will not just occur with small even with a big iceberg see i'm i'm filling it on my own without even saying the option that's the approach this doesn't just occur with small but even big big is giant the density of an object is what dash the density is a noun david writes david sings the cat whispers the density is what i need a verb with s determines no other verb with s for the subject whether the object will sink or float. If an object substance is less dense, when an object floats, the object is noun, float is as it is a noun, displaces is a verb with as, displaces the weight of fluid, dash to, dash to, dash to, collocation, devoted to, addicted to, equal to. Simple, did you do this way? You would have got five out of five, well and good, but if you solve it this way, you solve it in less than 20, 30 seconds. We go to one more question. I, I think that's it. I forgot one more. No, I think that's it for today. I really hope this video made sense. From now, no more complaining. I cannot solve reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes. No, I try to solve reading fill in the blanks in less than two minutes because it is possible. Any help you need, any doubts you have, do comment in the comment section. We appreciate you. Uh, reaching us out on this matter via YouTube comments and any doubts or any time you need a course um, a registered online paid course text us in the whatsapp we will be there to help you out I hope this video made sense if you want more videos something like this to you know to have more questions and ask you to in less than two minutes do comment if there is you know like a lot of comments coming up then definitely we think of doing it very soon this is Nakul signing off very soon we'll be back with the next set of video till then take care